was a clear case of commodio cordis, according to Dr. Link, who had um, heard Lewis's story and he said, you know, he goes, had a defibrillator been on the field, an AED been on the field, he would be alive. And you know, coaches can have AEDs. When I talk about it now, I always say, you know, everybody I feel like in the world knows who Damar Hamlin is. We can look at that as the case of commodio cordis. It really put it on the map. CPR and AEDs, they were right there. They were administered immediately. There's an assumption we make in sports medicine that when an athlete is collapsed and unresponsive, you have to think of cardiac arrest as a possibility and then move forward in your resuscitation protocol. Commotio cordis is a rare but life-threatening event that occurs from sudden blunt impact to the chest, which disrupts the normal heart rhythm leading to sudden cardiac arrest. This can happen in any sport, but is more common in sports with a firm projectile, such as lacrosse, baseball, or hockey, where a fast-moving object strikes the chest at a very specific and vulnerable moment in the cardiac cycle. An athlete with commotio cordis may take a few steps or stumble after being hit in the chest, but before they collapse. Athletes with sudden cardiac arrest usually have their eyes open and may have continued breathing or seizure-like movements, but they are unresponsive. Let's take a closer look at how this occurs. If there is direct impact to the chest at a very precise moment in the heart's electrical cycle, the heart's normal electrical rhythm can be interrupted, sending it into a ventricular arrhythmia and sudden cardiac arrest. For commotio cordis to occur, the impact needs to happen when the ventricles have just finished contracting and are starting to relax and fill with blood. Electrically, this corresponds to the upstroke of the T wave, a very brief window in the heart cycle about 10 to 20 milliseconds long as the heart resets its electrical signal before the next heartbeat. If the impact hits at this exact moment, the heart can be sent into an uncontrolled and chaotic rhythm called ventricular fibrillation. When this happens, the heart is just quivering and survival will depend on immediate recognition of sudden cardiac arrest, rapid CPR, and immediate access to an AED, which is needed to shock the heart back into a normal rhythm. But with rapid AED use and defibrillation within three minutes, survival can be greater than 80%. This is why we must ensure that 100% of our sports fields have access to an AED, and that coaches, officials, parents, and athletes are all trained in CPR and how to use an AED. With every minute that passes and something like an AED and CPR are not used, your chance of survival drops by 10%. We feel it's very important to have them in all locations and public access defibrillation is one of the key factors in saving lives from sudden cardiac arrest. All schools should have those AEDs outside in a safe station.